Now that we know about vectorization, let's start with the simplest of vectorization techniques, which is count vectorization. So count vectorization is a vectorization technique which creates a document term matrix. And in the last video, we had seen a matrix like if uh, raw text has some uh, documents and we, we clean after cleaning those uh, documents, that is uh, removing punctuation, stop words, after uh, tokenization, uh, we will be getting a list of words. And uh, so those, if we extract out all the unique words and list them and also count how many times they have occurred in the entire text corpus and then write the corresponding frequencies in each document, like for doc1, doc2, in doc1, w1 appeared two times, w2 appeared zero times, and so on. So this matrix is called document term matrix. So count vectorization will fit, learn this word vocabulary and uh, try to create a document term matrix which will, where the individual cells denote the frequency of that word in a particular document. And uh, in order to use count vectorizer, we will uh, import it from sklearn feature extraction dot text. We will import count vectorizer and then we will create an object of that. So this is optional parameter analyzer. So we will see examples of both without passing this and with passing this. So let's begin in our notebook. So this is the old stuff, uh, whatever we have been seeing in previous videos. We are uh, importing, uh, we are saving the stop words corresponding to English language. And then we are using the port porter stemmer. And then we are reading this spam collection into a data frame using pandas read CSV function. And we are creating two columns, level and message. And so let's go ahead and run the first five rows of this data frame. So these are the labels and this is the message. Then we define a function to clean the text. So this is also the usual stuff that we have been doing. Here we are removing the punctuation. Then we are splitting it into tokens and splitting it based on uh, non-word characters. Then we are uh, doing stemming on all those words and also removing the stop words. So this is our cleaning function. We will use this after some time. So first let's look at a sample corpus. So this is our sample corpus, not the SMS spam collection database. We will look, look into this also. So in order to understand count vectorizer, here we have imported it and then we have created it using the, all the default parameters. And this is our corpus, just these three sentences. So when we do cv.fit, cv is this count vectorizer, it will learn a voc vocabulary dictionary of all the tokens in the raw documents. So all the tokens in it, it will learn it will not yet create the document term matrix. That will happen when we do transform. So it will just learn it. So till this stage, if we comment out all the code and let's go ahead and run it. So we see that first I printed vocabulary. So vocabulary is this dictionary. So here you can see all the unique uh, words are listed here and it automatically by default will get rid of any one character words. So A is not here in the list and rest other will be here. So it sorts them in alphabetical order like document has index of one, another has index of zero, then here has index of two. So this is a dictionary of word and their corresponding index. And when we call get feature names, then we will get 
this list of tokens. Now let's do transform on this. So when we do transform, it transform the documents to document term matrix. So it will now calculate uh, this uh, document term matrix where we will have as columns, it will be the unique tokens and the uh, one row will correspond to one document. So in this case, three documents are there. So three rows and uh, seven words are there. So seven columns and the individual cell values will denote how many times a particular token has occurred in a particular document. So when we do transform, then it creates that document term matrix. So when we go ahead and run it and we printed the shape, so we can see that the shape is three cross seven because there are three documents. That is three sentences in this corpus and there are seven unique words. So each column will correspond to that. And then finally, when we just print X, it's a sparse matrix. So you can see here also that most of the cells are zero. And this was a small example and I had cooked out this example to repeat some tokens multiple times. But in general, if it will be a large matrix, then most of the um, cell values will be zero because uh, a general size uh, document, uh, not document, but the corpus of document will contain several thousands or even uh, hundreds of thousands of unique words. And whereas one sentence or one document will not be that big. So it's bound to contain zero in most of the places. So when we do this print X and run it, so it just prints the positions which are non-zero. So it's internally a sparse matrix and it's printing this. So it's not a matrix that is getting printed in order to get the data frame out of that in the matrix form, we have to do it to array. Or if we want to create a data frame out of it, we can do df and let's import pandas. We have, I think already imported pandas, so we can directly use it. PD dot data frame, and then we can pass this x dot to array. and columns also we can set. We will set uh, this feature names as the columns. And then we can print this data frame. So let's run it. So data frame constructor not properly called. So here a uh, two array is a function. Now we get back this data frame. Now uh, we have got a feel of what is count vectorizer. Now we're, we are ready to use it on our sample data set, SMS spam collection. Count vectorization on SMS spam collection. So here we will create a new count vectorizer and here we will use our custom text cleaning function. So in analyzer we will pass this clean text function. So it will use our clean text instead of using the default analyzer. And now let's fit the data. And here we had done it in two steps. Once we did call fit and then transform, we can combine it with this fit transform in one step. So let's go ahead and use fit transform and then we will call it on 
this MSG column. So it will take the MSG column, then also apply the cleaning function that we are passing. MSG and now let's print the shape of this uh, so let's run it clean text not defined so I think I have not run it we need to run it once yes now let's run it again now we see that it has 5572 rows that is there are 5572 documents so this has 5572 messages and then we have 8713 unique tokens after cleaning the tokens and uh, if we print this cb1 dot get feature names it will be a huge list so here in our sample data when we printed this feature name it just printed this uh, list of seven tokens but here we have 8713 tokens so if we print it so we need to call it on cv1 and then run it so this is a big list and you can see even uh, some numbers and then uh, then words also so we cannot work on this so let's create a sample data set out of it so we will call it data sample and we will take first 10 rows of this original uh, data frame that we had now we will define cv2 and now let's copy this and now let's run it so here we have just 10 rows because we have selected just 10 rows of our original data and it has 131 unique uh, tokens so we can go ahead and uh, print the data frame let's create a data frame out of it pd dot data frame and we will call x dot 2 array and columns will be uh, this cv dot get feature names so here it will be cv2 and then we will print this data frame so this is our data frame you can see uh, it will contain 131 columns which will correspond to unique tokens and it has 10 rows so in first uh, in first document or first message this world is one times what is one times so let's check it in our this message so we see that here in the first message we have a world and then we have a wat so which is correctly reflected here so this is the document term matrix and uh, we have created it using the count vectorizer in the next video we will see about n grams vectorization and then further we will see tf idf so thanks for watching see you in the next video